Hello guys, welcome back to Asian Tax, Andre Babito here and in today's video we are going to discuss about the taxes on capital gains when you trade with cryptocurrencies, when you trade with Bitcoin, when you trade with MTF, when you're doing staking, etc. etc. So all the crypto world under the Italian taxation in 2024. So finally we are going to release you the video in which we explain exactly how the Italian law regulates the cryptocurrencies in Italy in 2024. If you're in this channel I want to remind you that the same tax app talks about how to optimize your taxation when you relocate to Italy. We also cover Belgium as a jurisdiction and we analyze your, your tax situation and we're going to tell you the correct strategy to move to this country and pay less tax possible. Um, we have our consultancy services. Here in the description below the video you will have our uh, calendar link. You can book a consultation with us, 20 minutes, one hour, and you can also plan a tax project simulation, which means that we can simulate in advance your taxes before moving to Italy. Now, in this specific video I want to discuss about the taxation and the regulation. There are two elements here that we have to take into account. How to regulate, the, how the Italian law, tax law regulates the cryptocurrencies, holding and speculating on cryptocurrencies. What about the taxation, which is the second element. And then if you stick up to the end of this video, I'm going to explain you how to pay zero taxes when you realize capital gains on cryptocurrencies, okay? So stick up to the end of this video. Now, it's very simple, the discussion. In 2023, the Italian law changed. So uh, we have some less favorable uh, taxation on capital gains realized on cryptocurrencies. So basically, the taxation is 26% flat tax. It's a flat tax. It means that you don't pay. We are not going to be taxed on ordinary Italian tax brackets. It means that if you have another income, one accumulate at the top of the other. You don't uh, increase your um, tax bracket rates because we'll be taxed at a separate rates. 26% on, on what exactly? On the capital gains realized on cryptocurrencies. Easy. But when you realize that capital gains is not just about the, well, the difference of value. So you purchase the, pre, uh, the cryptocurrency at a certain value in terms of euro, because we have to consider that uh, in, in Italy the currency is euro. So the, the, the correspondent euro value when you purchase your cryptocurrencies and then when you sell it, the difference is the capital gains. But you also have to subtract the losses. So the Italian law that regulates now in 2024 this uh, crypto gain, let's say, it also take it, it allows you to take into account also the losses. So if in the previous years, somehow, instead of realize a capital gain, you realize losses, you should have reported the Italian tax file return, and then you can use these losses and subtract it against the capital gains. Which means that in that precise year, you're not going to pay 26% on the pure realized capital gains, but 26% will be, will be applicable when you um, subtract the losses against your capital gains of 2024, for example. So it's a difference. It's a, re a result difference, okay? So the result difference of these two is the number that you have to take into account for the calculation of this tax, or this flat tax. So this is the, the, the difference. Previously, it was a different way of taxes, these things. You, you, can, you should not have been any taxation up to a huge uh, threshold, but the, the, actually there was not a real re regulation because prior 2023, Italy considered the, the, the crypto values at the same level of ordinary currencies. Now, in the law, in the legislation has been precisely dictated that the cryptocurrencies are crypto values, crypto money. Okay, so they basically put in place a precise uh, code that describes the cryptocurrencies precisely. So this is the taxation and it's separated. Now, is this, this taxation is applicable for individual. It means that you don't have to open a VAT position, you don't have to register as a business if you want to speculate with these cryptocurrencies. But if you are a professional trader on cryptocurrencies, but this also means when you're a professional trader also through the stock market, then the obligation for you is to open a VAT position, which is in Italian called partita IVA position, which is a business, business position in which we need to register you as a business 
that because you are a professional can be a company that runs this business, can be you as an individual, as a freelancer that runs this business, etc. etc. And then the, the taxation is not going to be anymore 26%, but it will be based on the difference between uh, revenue minus expenses and what remains will be taxed at the ordinary tax rate. Or if you apply for the forfeit regime, uh, the special tax regime will be a lot of less. And sometimes registered the business might be in certain cases more convenient than pay 26%. Because it's true that here in 26% you don't pay any social security, you just pay 26% flat and it's over. Here in the business you accumulate your income with your rest of your incomes if you have any other incomes. But, and you pay social security as well. But you might end up having the fourth regime, for example, so some tax benefits. Or here in the business situation, you can apply for the impatriate regime. Okay? And then you have a huge tax discount. It's all a matter about tax simulation between those two. First of all, I will strongly advise you to have a consultation with us because we can check a case-by-case -case scenario and see if you are a real professional because in order to understand if you are a real professional and you obliged to open a business position might be a matter of understanding exactly what you're doing, how often you trade, how is, what is the value, how, how, how is the amount of money that you're moving. These are certain parameters that we need to check together with our accounting firm and try to understand which is the best place to put into keep as an individual or keep as a business. And based on that, we can make our optimization taxes, okay? Sometimes it's better to pay 26% because you have a lot of losses in the previous years. And Italy allows you to hold your losses backward by four years. So losses of four years backwards. Huh? You can keep track of the losses and you can reuse them nowadays uh, and subtract against the taxable income for the capital gain, okay? So we have to understand, based on your personal situation, if it makes more sense to use this strategy or this one, because this one you might also end up paying 12% up to 20% if you apply the fourth regime, including Social Security. Yeah? So you see, there are plenty of scenarios in which we can optimize taxes here and we need to see with a consultancy. So I said again, in the description below the video, you can have either our email content info at sntaxa.com or our link to Calendly in which you can book our, the consultation, one hour call, call or 20 minutes call. And we can discuss precisely in which situation you can might, might be, in which situation you should fit. Okay. Then there is the other important point that this is a very important is the monitoring your asset monitoring your asset and pay, unfortunately, this is what has been added in 2024, 2023, the duty stamp tax or also known as wealth, wealth tax on asset, financial assets detained abroad. And unfortunately, bitcoins and the value of the bitcoins that you detain abroad on your foreign exchange has to be monitored, needs to be monitored, monitor, and you will also get um, taxes on it, which is called the wealth tax. In Italian, it's known as IVA tax. It's a, it's a wealth tax on your assets that are abroad, which means financial assets abroad of any kind, which it belongs now, also the cryptocurrencies, belongs to this category. How much is this taxation? It's 0.2% of your correspondent euro value of the global amount of your cryptocurrencies that you detain wherever you in your wallet, private wallet, exchange, whatever it is. Okay. So the monitoring allows you to report on the Italian tax file return the value. So tax file return on yearly basis. You have the values of the cryptocurrencies. So you give to the accountant the report of, of all your portfolio. You sum everything together. You give to the accountant the euro values. And the accountant in Italy just put in at the end of the year, or the beginning of the year, the value of this amount of uh, cryptocurrencies that you are investing in or you're working on. Then the following year, you, have a, you had a gain, you didn't have a gain, doesn't matter. If you don't want to withdraw money, you don't pay any taxes, of course, but you keep this value on tracking year by year on the Italian tax file return. In this way, you um, informing the Italian tax, tax agency that your um, portfolio of crypto values is growing by the years. So it, this is extremely important because one day after, I don't know, two years, three years, five years, you want to withdraw your money out of your portfolio and you want to turn them back to euro and you want to have them in your bank account, 
you are fully justified. So the Italian tax agency cannot tell you anything about it because you monitored your values throughout the years. That's extremely important. It is an obligation by law, but it is extremely important because you prove that you have monitored your wealth abroad through the cryptocurrencies with your Italian tax file return. And you have all the rights to withdraw back your money, paying, the, of course, the capital gain tax if realized the capital gains, back to your bank account without any problem. So, extremely important when you run, when you have cryptocurrencies, you have to monitor in the Italian tax file return. And the value of the monitoring is an impossible number to calculate the wealth tax of 0.2%. So, this is how it works for the cryptocurrencies. There is just a, a small exception when you realize, and this is written by the, in the law, uh, if you realize a capital gains, capital gains on cryptocurrencies of less than 2,000 euro per year, which is a very small amount of money, you don't, you're not subject to any taxes. So the 26% is not applicable. So up to 2,000 euro per year as capital gains, you pay zero taxes. This is the exception that has been put in place. But keep in mind, it's an on-off, it's called on-off franchise, this 2,000 euro, which means that if you pass also by one euro, this 2,000 euro here, you will be subject to 26% on your, all, all your entire amount, from starting from zero. So 2,000, I mean, if you stay below 2,000, it's tax-free, but if you make even 2,000 one euro, you will be subject to 26% 26% on all your entire, your entire amount, okay? Now, I promise you at the beginning of this video that if you stick up to the end, I will tell you how to pay zero taxes also on this one, for regardless of the amount. This is an ordinary case. So there is this small, ex small exception of 2,000 euro. In, if you are in an ordinary scenario, if you are an ordinary Italian tax resident, these are all the rules that you have to respect. So here we have to check business or not business. And if you're not business, you have to do all these things and pay 26%, uh, except in the case you realize less than 2,000 euro. But if you have applied for the Favorable tax scheme is the only opportunity here to don't pay taxes on cryptocurrencies, on, ca on capital gains of cryptocurrencies. So if, if you have applied for the high net worth individual 100,000 euro flat tax in Italy, which is the tax regime, uh, optional tax regime that you can apply if your if 100,000 euro for you is a very little amount of tax to pay. So if you have applied for this tax regime, uh, it's also known as non-DOM Italian tax regime for high net worth individual. It means that all your foreign income is not taxed at the ordinary rates. It doesn't follow any Italian rules, except for the 100,000 euro that have to pay once per year. And an additional 25,000 euro for your family members. And family members here, we also talk about cousins. Eh? So it's a large family member situation. Each one of family members will pay only 25,000 euro and only the main taxpayer of the program pay 100,000. So that's the, in summary, this high, uh, this tax regime. So if you apply for this tax regime and your cryptocurrencies is detained in a uh, private wallet or if it's detained in a foreign exchange, <coughs> not an Italian one, but a foreign, so a platform that provides the exchange from cryptocurrencies to euro abroad, extremely important, detained abroad, so the legal siege of this cryptocurrency exchange is abroad, then you are totally excluded from the taxation on cryptocurrencies. You pay zero. So you can do as many millions you want to do abroad with your cryptocurrencies, and as Italian tax resident, you don't pay any specific tax for capital gains realized on cryptocurrencies. Moreover, you're not obliged anymore to monitoring your values in your tax file return, no obligation. You're not anymore obliged to pay any wealth tax on your cryptocurrencies detained, as I said, abroad. I hope I was clear. This is the way to pay zero taxes nowadays in Italy. So, with your cryptocurrencies, of course. Notification bell, like button, and subscribe the channels, please, to be always updated whenever we release this kind of content. See you and uh, have a good day. Bye.